guys. Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. I've had these sitting here. They're 3.65 volts tied together. Um, I had the idea of putting them on the Bedini charger in parallel, and then I realized, you know what? A really awesome experiment would be to have one with a capacitor, one without, run them until they're fully charged, and see what happens. So we have a control battery and one with a capacitor. So I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hook these up. Put the capacitor across the one. Short the capacitor out so there's no no uh, no possibility of thinking that it's the capacitor voltage that we're reading. And I'll put the meters across these and hook them up to the bedini motor, and we'll be back in a minute here. Okay, now I've got the two diodes that are combined together on the collector of the bedini motor right here. All right. And I've used two different colored wires, a red and a black, to separate between the two. So the red wire goes to the battery with the capacitor, is at 12.77 volts, charging. The black wire, the second output, goes to the battery without a capacitor, and is at 7.99 and rising. So we'll leave these run, and I'm going to charge these up until they stop taking a charge with that's going to settle down with time is my experience when you first put the capacitor on the voltage jumps up very high and then it'll come down to a more realistic voltage why I don't know but it takes time and that'll that'll stabilize this one is just charging and coming up with with time and that'll continue to rise as the battery takes a charge so we'll leave these here Meanwhile, my main output is still going to the big 216 amp hour batteries. They are at um, 11 and a half, 12, they're at 12 volts now, uh, running on the Bedini motor. Now considering they were down, I think, uh, four, I can't remember, three volts each. I think they were six or seven volts combined when I connected, my, connected them as 12 volt batteries. Uh, when I first moved here, to the new homestead in Michigan and open up this lab, my electronics shop. So, we'll uh, keep them going. This is going to be a long time process because of how big they are and this is just a single coil Benini motor which is not highly powerful. Later, when I build a big machine, then we'll be able to restore larger batteries like this quicker. But for now, it is how it is. So, I'll leave these running. That's up to 8.1. 12.76 and as I say that'll start dropping down a little bit with time and that's going to keep on going up 8.11 and we'll even go so there's a control battery without a capacitor and a battery that's going to have a capacitor until it's done charging and that's how we're going to run it talk to you guys in a while the next day or so